Well, you're in luck, because that's what today was all about, starting with me getting the podcast room completely emptied out while breakfast was cooking today, because we knew we were getting furniture in here, so it was time to get rid of everything that was left behind in here for now. These tables are going to go back into the room for the time being, but they actually really don't fit the overall aesthetic of what the plan is going to be for this room, so until I find something better, they'll work, but I will be moving them to other portions of the house just as soon as I can. I have a sneaking suspicion that by the end of all of this, most of the furniture that we bought from an actual furniture store will probably be repurposed elsewhere or even sold again because we'll replace it with all the stuff from the thrifting and antique store. And as always, I had my little sidekick hanging out with me playing around with all the little bits and baubles that she could find while mommy was cleaning. As you guys saw in the previous video, we got a new love seat to go in this area. Little man helped me put the legs on and then the teenager came around and helped me get it all set up and moved around to where exactly we wanted it. I thought at first that we were going to put it directly underneath the windows and have the windows at the backdrop, but it really kind of cut off the overall feel of the space in the room here. So the teenager and I decided that we needed to put it back on the wall where the other chairs were previously. Again, this table is not going to be staying here, and I do want to find a coffee table that's going to go directly in front of the love seat, but this is going to work for now because this is what I have. And we are planning to replace the TV with a retractable projector screen that goes over top of this wall for watching TV and playing video games. Moving on to the big project that we did accomplish for the night was finding a place for the dresser and the nightstand that we brought home today. And yes, I know it looks like yesterday Misty did today Misty really wrong again by piling up all the laundry, but I promise you all of this laundry was washed and dried today. I'm just now getting around to putting away the laundry for the day. I did that while Ryan cleared most of the stuff out of that corner over there to make space for the dresser. Took a quick break from putting away the laundry to vacuum this corner over here. We kind of vacuumed as we went to clear the spaces and things like that so that I could put the nightstand over there when Ryan came in to help me and then back to folding laundry again. Every single time I show our bedroom, someone asks about the fact that we don't have a bed frame. Keep in mind, we just moved 4,000 miles and we did not bring a single bit of furniture with us. We also live our life without debt, so we don't finance anything. So we purchase our furniture with cash as we can afford it as we go. And a bed frame is probably lowest on the priority list of all the things that are needed in the house for furnishing. Personally, Ryan and I have been living with just a mattress and a box spring on the floor for well over 13 years and gotten on just fine. But we do have plans on getting one when we find the right one that we can afford. Time to fill the dresser now because the dresser is a higher priority list in the furnishings of the house than a bed frame. Up to this point, things had been stashed in folded piles on the floor, in the closet, in baskets, and things like that. So it's really nice to be able to have everything fit into the dresser. And we actually ended up having one empty drawer left over after all of this. And that about sums up everything that we had the energy to be able to actually accomplish for the night because turns out going shopping for and bringing home furniture and then redecorating and moving everything around is exhausting. And so here is the finished product for now. We're going to get new bedding and new curtains, but overall the bedroom is coming along really nicely and I'm really happy with it. And the other room can wait till tomorrow.